channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today we embark on a mind expanding journey into the fascinating world of waves. Waves in essence are the rhythmic disturbances that transmit energy through a medium. Not all waves actually require a physical medium through which to travel. This fact allows us to put all waves into two broad categories. Number one, mechanical waves are waves that require a physical medium through which to travel. The number two category is electromagnetic waves. They do not require a physical medium through which to travel. When a mechanical wave moves through a physical medium, the particles in the medium oscillates in simple harmonic motion. You can see on the screen, this is showing a simple harmonic motion. You can also watch my video about simple harmonic motion. I will share the link in the description. Now let's talk about two fundamental types of waves, transverse waves and longitudinal waves. Transverse waves oscillates perpendicular to the direction of their propagation. For example, wave generation by battling ropes, electromagnetic waves, radio waves, microwave, ultraviolet, etc. Vibration of a guitar string and Mexican waves in a sports stadium. These are the example of transverse waves. Longitudinal waves, on the other hand, oscillates parallel to the direction of travel, such as sound waves moving through air. Another example is a pressure waves. For example, a drummer hits a drum, this is the initial pressure wave. Similarly, primary waves in an earthquake is also example of longitudinal waves. Ultrasound waves which is used for medical imaging is also one of the example of longitudinal waves. Similarly, shock waves produced by supersonic aircraft and explosions. Let's recall some basic terms related to the waves. For example, period. Period is the total time taken for one complete cycle. Frequency. The number of cycles per unit time, for example, the number of cycles in one second will be considered as frequency. Amplitude, the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position. You can see here on the screen, this line shows the equilibrium position. Another important wave characteristics is wavelength. Wavelength is the distance from one crest to the next or between two adjacent points in the same rate of motion. Let's see the calculation associated with waves. You can see on the screen, V is equal to F times lambda, where V is the velocity of the waves, the speed of the waves, usually measures in meter per second. Frequency, as I discuss you, the unit is hertz, and the lambda is a wavelength measure in meter. Remember, lambda is a symbol of wavelength, not the unit. The unit of wavelength is meter. So let's try a virtual experiment to understand more about the wave formation and the terms we just discussed. So this is a virtual wave machine you can see on the screen. So let's see how waves are going to be formed. So right now we are going to study the transverse waves. So you can see the particles are moving up and down direction of propagation. Let's have a look from another angle. So you can see the mean position is the black line and you can see the amplitude very easily. Look another way. From top side you can easily see the particles are moving up and down. Let's see the 3D form. So you can see very clearly every particle is moving up and down and making our transverse waves. Let's move to the longitudinal wave, how it works. So you can see the movement of particles here instead of up and down, they are moving back and forth. You can see the direction of movement is parallel to the direction of propagation of wave. Let's see from this angle, the all particles are coming closer and moving away from each other. It is called compression and rarefaction. So let's see from the top, Okay, you can see here now, the all particles are parallel to the direction of propagation. They are coming closer and moving far away. This demonstration shows the movement of particles in the longitudinal phase. Let's see the 3D view. You can see the mean position line, the black one, and you can see all particles are on the same line to make longitudinal waves. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.